Welcome. Um, this is going to be, I hope, a pretty quick tutorial with the best explanation of side chain compression you've ever heard in the history of your life. Maybe not. What I want to do in this tutorial, I want to use my vocal as a key and I want to send that to a compressor across my music bus. Okay, so every time my lead vocal sings, I want the music to turn down just a little bit to keep my vocal popped out front. Super common example of when to use sidechain compression. To keep your vocal out on top and your music loud, but when the vocal hits, the music turns down automatically. Okay, so let's set this up. We're going to listen to a song I co-wrote and produced and, and, and performed called No Karma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here is the chorus that we're going to listen to with no sidechain compression, but then we're going to set it up. Cool. All right. So what the heck is sidechain compression and why would you set it up? Uh, well, today we're going to figure that out. What I would like to do is I'd like to keep the instruments just as loud as they are right now or even louder. But what I want to happen is I want my vocal to stay out on top and stay winning. So anytime this lead vocal, which is Vox or Vox Dupe, sings, it's going to automatically turn down my all music bus. So to set this up, I need to send some of my vocal so out into the abyss right now, but then we're going we're gonna to match it. So this is going to be a mono send. So I'm going to send it plenty of levels. So bus 13 is, is nothing. It's going nowhere yet, but option click that. It goes right to zero, which is nice. And prefade. Prefade allows me to come in and turn down my fader, but it's not going to affect this send. So even though I might turn my vocal all the way down to minus infinity, don't want to hear that vocal anymore, the same amount of signal is going, which is that unity, is going to be coming through this send because it's on pre-fader. This takes into consideration before this fader. If I turn that off, it's going to be post-fader, which means this send, so right here, let's put them side by each, they're friends. This send is connected, and if it's post-fader, which it is right now, if I turn this down, the whole send goes down. Don't want to do that. So I make it pre-fader. Okay, so bus 13, how about I give that a name and call it chorus key. So right click, rename, CH key. All right, so I have the chorus key. That's great, it's named. Next, I need an all music bus. Well, I happen to have one and it's right here. So if I mute, I'm muting my, all my drums and bass. I'm muting all my vocals, just so you can hear that I do have an all music bus. Okay, that's my music bus. And then I have an all vocal bus and an all drums bus. So here is the all music bus. This is what I want to turn down every time I sing. And then, and then in that chorus, and then I could easily pop that, populate that over to the all drums. So what do I need for this? Just a regular Pro Tools stock Dyne 3 compressor. This is the stock Pro Tools compressor. And this is what I need. So some, some plugins will have a key input. Any plugin with a key input, you can sidechain compress it, okay? So, or sidechain gate it. You could sidechain it. So this is sidechaining. So I'm going to take that key input and I'm going to assign it chorus key, bus 13, chorus key. So now it's just chorus key. It, wasn't, it was bus 13. And then in Pro Tools, I need to turn this on. So there's a little key right there. So I can, if I don't turn that on, there's nothing going to happen. So I have to turn, oh, I misclicked. There it is right there. So let's just take a look, side chain, and that is now on. So we can make things sound pretty bad pretty quick. For side chaining, I like a really quick attack um, and a pretty fast release. So slow release, fast release. Fast attack, slow attack. So I don't necessarily want to hear this pumping. That's not the effect I want to go for. Um, I just want it to turn down a little bit. At three to one, it's going to turn down a lot. These ratios are super, super, super sensitive. So we can even go a little bit lighter and then we can mess with the threshold. So let's, 
I'm sending my vocal. I'm sending it right here. And here we go. And that's pretty wild. So it's turning this entire music bus down 6 dB right now. And you kind of hear it sounds like a like something's turning off and on. That's too much. We don't want that. Um, but let's just go crazy. And let's say that's what we wanted. We, just more of it. Okay. Sidechain compression. Told you it was easy. So I'm going to back off that threshold. And what I can get away with now probably is boosting even more music. So what sidechain compression allows you to do is it allows you, like in this case, it would allow me to turn up my all music bus and still have room for the vocal every time it sings. And what all I need to do is adjust the attack and release. Now the release, if we want to get super specific about the release time and have it in time with the track, which makes a lot of sense, I will just do a simple formula. So my beats per minute of this track, if I turn the click track on, 122. Well, I take 6,000 divided by 122 and I get 49. So half of 49, so if I divide that by two again, is 24.5, so 24-ish. So I could have a 24 millisecond release, which is just, just kind of within a host delay, just a little bit longer than a typical host delay, which is so fast you don't hear it, but you perceive, hey man, like something's up. Um, so let's have a listen to a timed release. Still too aggressive. Just come back on that, coming back on the attack a bit. You still hear it. Better. So just that little bit of sidechain compression, in this case, allows me to turn my music up. So I turn it up like almost uh, like one and a half dB, 1.6, and then still have my vocal sit out front. So that's a great way to pop a vocal. Find out what is masking this vocal. In this case, like guitars have a lot of the same frequencies. So, hey, I want loud guitars though. Okay, well, maybe sidechain compression is something you should consider. So that is sidechain compression and hope you give that a go and I'll see you in the next one.